वेलकम टू एवरीवन जस्ट टुडे वी डिस्कस अकाउंटिंग फॉर मर्चेंडाइजिंग ऑपरेशंस जस्ट वी आर फॉलोइंग दिस बुक अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल्स वेगंड काइसो किमेल जस्ट दिस इज आवर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स द चैप्टर 5 अकाउंटिंग फॉर मर्चेंडाइजिंग ऑपरेशंस आवर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स डिस्क्राइब Describe merchandising operations and inventory systems. The learning objective 1 to record purchases under the perpetual inventory system. Uh, learning objective 3 uh, record sales under a perpetual inventory system. Uh, 4 uh, apply the steps in the accounting cycle to a merchandising company. 5 uh, compare a multi step with a single step income statement. So, uh, these discussions uh, we uh, we'll uh, just discuss describe merchandising operations and inventory system just learning objective one we will finish uh, next learning objective one describe merchandising operations and inventory uh, system just uh, merchandising uh, companies uh, they are related to buy and sell goods just buy and sell goods uh, here uh, some organizations name uh, you have seen here uh, walmart uh, amazon.com rei etc uh, just a retailer retailer company related uh, this uh, uh, activities that is merchandising operations uh, here uh, united stationers uh, wholesaler uh, company just uh, this is their office depot uh, this is the consumer this is the consumer Okay, thus here, here merchandising companies related to buy and sell goods. Thus, so the primary source of revenue is referred to as sales revenue or sales. That means sales revenue, this is their uh, main uh, uh, revenue. That means when a company gain something, uh, 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 that time related uh, the sales revenue and uh, uh, resulting uh, we call this is the revenue of a uh, merchandising companies the, so here the merchandising operations uh, here the income measurement how could we measure the income uh, just uh, now we will uh, see this matter uh, the sales revenue uh, less cost of goods sold uh, equal gross profit less uh, operating expenses equal net income or net loss and in our uh, service business we know that uh, not used in a service business these two options that means cost of goods sold and gross profit okay uh, so uh, illustration 5 one uh, income measurement process for a merchandising company so, so how could we measure the uh, income uh, the, this is a process and uh, already we have seen this again we can uh, uh, repeat this matter uh, sales revenue that means suppose a company sells uh, uh, revenue after selling uh, they will get this sales revenue and less cost of goods sold and uh, after that we will get gross profit and then less operating expenses equal net income or net loss cost of goods sold is the total cost of merchandising sold under the period uh, just later we will uh, see this matter clearly next it's our operating cycle operating cycle of a merchandising company ordinarily is longer than that of a service company uh, this is the uh, service company and this is the merchandising company the service uh, company uh, operating cycle is shorter and merchandising company uh, uh, operating cycle is longer so this is the point the operating cycle of a merchandising company ordinarily is longer than that of a service company so, so here the service company suppose perform service and uh, this is suppose the uh, credit uh, sales uh, 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 and uh, we call it this is the account receivable and uh, then we are getting our uh, cash that means receive cash this is our cash and merchandising company this is the longer uh, already we have told this uh, this is buy inventory this is the buy inventory uh, this inventory and uh, then we will sell this inventory the buy and sell then uh, uh, this is uh, the one credit uh, so this is account receivable and uh, after that we are getting cash so i think everybody is clear at this point 
now follow of uh, costs now follow of costs this is a beginning inventory uh, beginning inventory and this is the cost of goods purchased the beginning inventory and cost of goods purchased the so here uh, cost of goods available for sale cost of goods available for sale uh, okay uh, i think everybody is clear beginning inventory uh, later on we will uh, show this matter clearly <coughs> so cost of goods purchased and uh, these two items uh, after addition we get cost of goods available for sale and this is the cost of goods sold and ending inventory cost of goods sold during the year which uh, we uh, uh, sell to the customers or consumers so we call this is the cost of goods sold and uh, companies use either a perpetual inventory system and a periodical inventory system to account for inventory perpetual what is perpetual inventory system and what is critical inventory system later on we will discuss it okay uh, uh, move to next the perpetual inventory system uh, just maintain detailed records of the cost of each inventory purchase and sales that means when we purchase suppose we can purchase a mobile set that's so mobile set when we purchase that time we will record and when we sell this mobile set uh, that time we will record and records uh, continuously sh show inventory that uh, should be on hand for every item uh, records uh, continuously uh, show inventory uh, that means uh, when we purchase and sells uh, and we will record this so, so uh, every time we, we will uh, uh, it will show the what's amount in our hand uh, that means what should be on hand our company determines uh, cost of goods sold each item a sales occurs so when uh, a sales occurs their items uh, we uh, will sell at that times uh, it could determines cost of goods sold every time that means this is very uh, easy to understand uh, and uh, end up the, uh, so end up the working day we can easily find out the which items on uh, our hand uh, periodic inventory periodic inventory just uh, this is uh, a, a different from the uh, perpetual inventory system so do not keep details records of the goods on hand uh, here uh, we did not uh, we do not keep details records on goods on hand number one number second cost of goods sold determined by count at the end of the accounting period that means cost of goods uh, sold determined uh, by count at the end of the accounting period that means end of the accounting period we count actually uh, cost cost of goods sold now uh, how could we calculation the cost of goods sold uh, uh, we can easily find out here suppose this is the beginning inventory one lakh dollar at purchase that means this is the net purchase eight lakh dollar uh, goods available for sale uh, total uh, 1 lakh and 8 lakh 9 lakh dollar less ending inventory uh, end of the uh, accounting period just uh, we uh, have in our hand uh, 1 lakh 25,000 this is the ending inventory after uh, deductions or after sub subtracting we are getting this amount that means cost of goods sold this is our cost of goods sold uh, this way we can calculate our cost of goods sold item i think everybody is clear uh, now uh, we are moving next this is the advantage of the perpetual inventory system this is very much easy to understand i think uh, traditionally used for merchandise with high unit values that means the which items is high unit value suppose computer uh, refrigerator a mobile set uh, uh, tv etc so these uh, items uh, we can use uh, this merchandise that means uh, perpetual system we can use that means which is countable i'll show the uh, quantity and cost of the inventory that uh, should be on hand at any time that means we can count inventory at any time or any day uh, provides better control over inventories than a periodical system that means this is better that means perpetual system is better than periodical system okay next uh, here merchandising uh, operations and inventory systems uh, just uh, 
uh, just this is a test uh, can you uh, answer this question please try everybody try indicate whether the following statements are uh, true or false please try everybody uh, number one the primary source of revenue of a merchandising company source of revenue please uh, look here uh, revenue uh, results from performing services for customers so uh, source of revenue uh, uh, for a merchandising company results for performing service for customers performing service for customers this is true or false i think this is false because uh, uh, source of revenue uh, resulting performing service for uh, sales so uh, this is false number second the operating cycle of a service company is usually shorter then that of a merchandising company that means merchandising company and uh, service company which is shorter operating cycle i think service company so this is true this should be true true and sales revenue less cost of goods sold equal gross profit sales revenue uh, previously we have seen that uh, sales revenue less cost of goods sold equal gross profit this is also true uh, ending inventory uh, plus the cost of goods purchased equal cost of goods available for sale. This is also false. So this is false. Okay. Uh, thank you everybody for watching this video and proper understanding.